In this video, I'm going to show you to replace the water inlet valve on your Whirlpool refrigerator. The water valve controls water flow to the ice maker and water dispenser. When it fails, it can cause water to not flow to the ice maker or to the water dispenser. Also, it can cause water to leak from the water dispenser or leak into the fill tube on the ice maker. If you need to buy a new water inlet valve, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, unplug and disconnect the power and water supply to the refrigerator. For this repair, you'll need access to the back of the refrigerator. The water valve that we're replacing this video is located here. This refrigerator has multiple water valves. This water valve controls water flow from the back of the refrigerator up to the filter housing. From there, the water is then distributed to a second water valve that controls water flow to the dispenser and ice makers. Using a quarter inch nut driver or a flat blade screwdriver, remove the nine screws on the back cover. Now, slide the power cord out of the retainer slot. Next, pull the back cover away from the fridge. Be careful as the water line is routed through a groove on the bottom right corner. Now, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the two screws. Then, disconnect the electrical connector by pulling it off. Disconnect the water line from the valve by depressing the blue collar with your fingers while pulling on the line. Make sure the collar is depressed evenly all the way around. You may want a towel handy as it will leak some water. When shopping for a new water valve, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. To install the water valve, reconnect the water line by inserting it until it stops then gently pulling back to ensure it's locked in place. Then reconnect the electrical connector. Next, set the valve in place and align the two screw holes, then reinstall the two screws. To install the back cover, first insert the power cord into the retainer slot. Then, route the water line through the back cover. Now, align the cover and reinstall the screws. Make sure to install the screw through the water line retainer. With everything put back together, plug the refrigerator back in and test it out to make sure that everything's working properly. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you like fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.